Now, the point is, you want to put people in government that are honest. But the thing is, there aren't any really honest people. Well, there are honest people. You can find them at Union Rescue Mission. Mm -hmm. They don't have any money, they have no vested interest. You know what That's I mean? why they're honest, because they don't have anything. Because they That's have a right. chance to if you want anybody in politics, put the people of Union Rescue Mission in politics. But don't give them any income. Give them oatmeal, beans, and a bed to sleep on. And they can never own anything. <laughs> Make honest decisions. Does he want to go to war? He's a fucking. I mean, no war. The moment they make million dollars, 20 years. No, not a million dollars, 11 dollars. You got trouble. What I'm trying to tell you is the way our government is today, and all governments all over the world, not only our government, they're always the same. They're not worth a shit. Now, the army is corrupt, the police are corrupt, everybody. Now, the people in Washington are not a group of people that are conspirators and sit back and say, I'm going to fool the American people. No, it isn't like that. Many, many years ago, the first group in politics said, we're going to fool the American people. And they set it up, and the other guys are just fools. The first priest was a phony. He says, these chumps really think I'm the magic man. And he took strange things, and they went like that, and they disappeared, and they said, boy, this guy's really a magic man. And he walked around like that. He said, I'm in touch with the woman on high. And everybody followed him. All his life, they fed him, and they gave him a guaranteed income. This guy was following the priest all the time. He says, I believe in you. He says, that's terrific, son. Then when this guy died, he went on telling the story about the bullshit man. I'm just telling you that all the first were phonies. All of them. And every goddamn religion comprised of phony men. But don't think you live in a good world yet. Not yet. It's still growing and it's early. The world can be a much better place. And you're not supposed to hate anybody for what they just don't know anything.